Hello guys, welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the keywords that are available in Robot Framework Selenium library to work with the mouse operations. Now, mouse operations are very important, especially in the automation or the web automation, because most of the time you will find your web application wherein you will need to simulate the mouse operations in your automation scripts. So to understand how to handle the mouse operations and what are the keywords that are supported in robot framework, it becomes really, really important. So the mouse operations that we are going to discuss today or the keywords that are uh, available in robot framework are the mouse down, uh, which basically simulates pressing the left mouse button on any element. So uh, you have the element locator um, by XPath or by ID or by name, whatever. Uh, and then mouse down basically will simulate the left mouse button. Then similarly, mouse down on image and mouse down on link is same as mouse down. The only difference is when you use mouse down on image, keyword it um, simulates mouse down on the image so you identify the image by the locator and you use the mouse down on image keyword instead of mouse down then uh, mouse down on link will simulate the mouse down event on the link that you identify by the locator so there are separately you know like three uh, mouse down keywords provided uh, one specific for the image one specific for the link and any other uh, web element that on the page you can use mouse down uh, keyword then mouse up is basically uh, opposite of mouse down which simulates releasing of the left mouse button then mouse over is similar to any mouse over so hovering your mouse over the element defined uh, identified by the locator and mouse out simulates moving away from the element that is identified by the locator now open context menu is very very important keyword as well which you will utilize for the right click operation okay so all those mouse operations that we have discussed or the keywords above are for the left mouse click left mouse button but uh, say for example you want to do right click operation then you use open context menu it opens the context menu on the element that you have identified by the locator so if you want to perform right click use open context menu and then drag and drop is another important one that i want to cover uh, what basically drag and drop does is it drags the element identified by the locator and drops at the target that you define in the locator. So you have to specify two locators, the, um, the locator from where the element needs to be dragged and the locator where it needs to be dropped. So for example, the target. So that's what drag and drop does. And then you have another drag and drop by offset. So drag and drop by offset will drag the element identified by the locator and it will drag at a specific offset that you specify or X and Y coordinates that you specify, right? So these are some of the operations, mouse operations that we are going to discuss and understand in this tutorial now before we get into the code let's understand the go to the selenium library and understand what all uh, arguments need to be passed in all these uh, keywords so here i am in the robot framework.org selenium library and if you just search the mouse operations okay and if i go to mouse down here you can see the only argument that is accepted for all these mouse down operations or mouse out or over is the locator okay so any locator so any web element locator you can use you know like xpath css selector id name um, so depending on what uniquely which locator uniquely identifies that web element on the page you use that particular locator and you use the keyword so for example if you want to uh, emulate 
the mouse down operation on a particular uh, button on the page you just identify the locator of that particular button and use mouse down two spaces and specify the locator okay so we'll see that example so these are all uh, arguments so only locator you need to provide for all the mouse operation mouse down mouse out over and up operation then for the drag and drop so you have to specify the locator which element the element that you want to drag the locator for that element and the target where you want to drop this particular web element okay so it drags the element by the locators you have to specify the locator of the element that you are dragging and the target where you are going to drop that particular web element similar to drag and drop that you do on any web page right um, then drag and drop by offset you you specify the locator of the web element that you want to drag and the offset in x and y coordinates where you want to drop that particular web element so for example drag and drop by offset this is the locator for the web element that you want to drag and drop and then you specify the x offset which is 50 here and then the y offset so what it will do is it will move the my element which is identified by this locator 50 px right and then 30 px down okay so pretty simple um, it's just an x and y offset that you have to specify if you are using the drag and drop by offset you will very rarely use this but just in case you are required to use it it's available in the robot framework so let's understand the uh, the last uh, keyword which is open context menu let's search that and see what all so open context menu again will just needs one argument which is the locator so wherever you want to open the context menu or perform the right click operation just provide that locator and it will perform the right click at that particular web element or the locator now let's go to pycharm here i have the uh, handling mouse operations dot robot file already created and i have uh, mentioned all the keywords that we are going to use for the mouse operations so what i'm doing here is if you see mouse down then um, two spaces and the locator for the web element which is the x path i have used for this particular locator and i am pressing mouse down button on this so this is the website that i'll be using so this is a sugar crm website request demo page let me open that to show you so it's already open here now on this website i am doing the mouse down even on the business phone field so the first thing i'm doing is opening the url in chrome browser then maximizing the browser window and then scrolling this element in the view okay so scroll element into view is the keyword which uh requires the web element locator that you want to move into the view so this is the uh checkbox that i have specified so if i scroll up to this point this business phone field will be visible so i have specified um just one uh, checkbox field so the page will scroll or the business phone will be visible um then now actually the mouse operations start from there so up to this point it's just a preparatory sort of uh, script to show you the mouse operations now mouse down two spaces and the locator right so this is the locator or the x path for business phone to get the locator just right click on the web element click on inspect this is the chrome browser and chrome browser provides the default functionality to inspect web element and you can just right click and copy the x path directly okay and if you do command f in mac os or control f in windows you paste this x path that you have copied in this field here it will highlight the web element that you have copied already now i'm directly using this web element into my script okay so that's what i am using here so x path colon 
and mouse down operation on this field then i am doing the mouse up so i am up uh, uh, opposite of mouse down so two spaces and the same x path so i am releasing the mouse click from that particular web element then i'm again scrolling into the view so what i'm doing is on this page i'm scrolling at the bottom and doing some operations for the mouse uh, mouse operations on these links that are available here so, so that is why i'm scrolling again to the bottom of the page and then i'm clicking on the link so i'm doing mouse down on link two spaces and the locator right so here um mouse down on link and the locator similarly mouse over two spaces and the locator okay similarly mouse out two spaces and the locator and mouse down on image two spaces and the locator so very simple um, keywords they just accept one argument you have to use the keyword two spaces and the locator and then drag and drop example so i'm going to another uh, web page which is demo qa.com and i'm performing drag and drop for the draggable object there okay so i have provided the locator for the web element that is draggable and the locator for where this particular web element needs to be dropped so drag and drop two spaces uh, the locator for the web element that needs to be dragged and two spaces and then the locator where it needs to be dropped and then i'm performing open context menu two spaces and specifying the locator where i need to right click okay so this script covers all the mouse operations drag and drop and also the right click so let's go ahead and execute this script and see this in action so i've run the command open chrome browser so you can see business phone has been clicked mouse down scroll down it will click on uh, it will mouse over on product support link as you can see here and we'll go to deployment options mouse over and then mouse out then it will mouse down on the image which is sugar crm image in the left hand side that one and then it went to demo qa drag and drop and then right clicked on automation practice and closed the browser okay so let's analyze the report so i'll open the report here in the chrome browser so i'll passed and here you can see it performed the mouse down on this particular web element which is the business phone then it performed mouse up from that field then it went on the link which is identified by this x path it performed the mouse down then it performed mouse over on the another link then it performed mouse out from this particular link and then i performed mouse down on the image in the footer right and then we perform drag and drop from the identified locator so draggable uh, draggable object or the web element and the lo locator where it needs to be dropped and then we clicked or did the right click by using open context menu keyword right so that is uh, pretty much how you will be performing the mouse operations in the robot framework uh, this is pretty uh, you know like the simple script to perform all the mouse operations and what are the keywords ava available and what formats you need to specify in order to use these keywords and perform the mouse operations so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching